Hello, everyone. I want to start with a little bit small story here. I want to talk about my friend, Laurie. After graduating as a civil engineer from University of Texas at Austin, she works as a project engineer for a big contractor on large complex project. She's an information geek, a bit like me. She's tech savvy and also loves science fiction and the possibilities of future. Her life is organized by apps. She's obsessed over her fitness stats on Fitbit and always exploring new routes and uh, pushing herself up the leaderboard. But at work, it's a very different story. So on a regular day, Laurie is dealing with hundreds of issues, thousands of you know, changes, you know, across dozens of models and drawings, and you have change orders coming in. It's a crazy world out there, as you, many of you can imagine who are working on job sites. And uh, she's, she's mainly responsible for making sure her team and trade contractors can uh, you know, finish the work on schedule and make sure they have the right information to do that. Also, making sure they have the right information, she needs to make sure the information is right. So while her personal life is all organized and she has all the data and info to go about it, at work, she's struggling to find like where to look. You know, she has no clue what information is right. And she's spending all her time just managing data. Think about that. She's managing all her time managing data instead of managing the project. And this drives her crazy. And as you can imagine, she never finishes at 5 p.m. So as Matt mentioned, in our research, we asked about this with many of our customers. How are you leveraging data? How are your project teams leveraging data? And across different geographies, the answer was unanimous. We are drowning in data. It's almost like you're stranded on an island, surrounded by salt water. It's all around you, but you cannot drink it. That's, that's the feeling many of these project teams that we talked to expressed with us. This is exactly why we need a data strategy. Every project team out there is collecting tons of data, terabytes of data these days. And it's not just important to digitize your workflows, but we need to make sure there's a strategy to leverage that and gain insights from it. Just one quick reference here. The global pandemic also accelerated the pace of digitization. I was reading about this. In 2020, in just an eight-week period, the pace of acceleration was almost as much as what we've seen in the last five years. Can you imagine that? So even though that's a helpful thing, this is great. You know, everyone's digitizing now and moving to digital. But it's also amplifying the problems these project teams are faced with. So how can we help? these project teams leverage data and gain insights from it. There are key pillars to the data strategy here. And let's look at this from the lens of three different customers and how they went about their data journey and how they made an impact across different levels of the organization. So I want to start with Aptim. Aptim is a leader in environmental services, critical infrastructure, and resilience. We all know how critical it is to move people and goods safely from one place to another, and how frustrating it can be if your plans are disrupted. Think of like a, a traffic jam or a diversion. That's why it's critical to make sure these systems are back online after repairs. In a recent project, Aptim was asked to go in and do repair assessments for 200 plus structures in a span of just 30 days. Aptim also knows that 280 billion dollars in construction rework happens every year, and this is caused by poor data and miscommunication. That's half of all the rework that could be avoided with just a little bit more upfront planning. And that's exactly what Aptim did here. As a first step, they went about digitizing their entire workflow, all the way from repair assessments to planning, to estimation, procurement, and construction management. With connected data, up-to-date information, and accurate information, their project teams were able to make faster and better decisions. They were able to reduce rework and cut down on waste, and also finish the project 12 days early. 
that's a lot less traffic jams for you and me. I was talking to Kim Aaron, the VP of Digital Transformation at Aptin, and she told us they were able to pull this off only because they digitized the processes from end to end. They started with the end in mind. They had a data strategy going in, and they made sure they, if there was a need for a specific data, they captured it from day one. Now, if you think about it, digitization alone cannot solve all the problems. A recent survey showed us that 35% of the time is spent on job sites looking for information. These are non-value-added tasks. So that's why I meant digitization won't solve all the problems if your data is still captured in silos and you cannot easily access it. J. Eden Construction, one of the leading general contractors in the US, had this challenge. Their project executives were spending countless hours looking for information across multiple systems in different formats. Can you imagine a project executive preparing cost estimate, and you're looking at design intent in one system, you're looking at your quantities somewhere else, and you're looking at the procurement data elsewhere, and you're doing all this with a deadline hanging over your head. This is why Jay Eden went about investing in Dunn Dashboard, an innovative platform that connected all their workflows from different processes into one single place and supported their project teams throughout their life cycle. They were able to break down their data silos and bring information from all these systems and make it available at their fingertips for their project team members. Looking for information, searching for information became a thing of the past. And with Dunn Dashboard, their project teams were able to make faster and better decisions. And this had a huge impact on their project productivity. The processes that used to take days or even weeks are now completed in less than a day, a matter of few hours. You know, as soon as a new opportunity is awarded and made a job, they have automations in place that pulls information, sets up everything for their project teams, and they're ready to go. I was talking to John Jacobs, their CIO, and he said, they will, Jay Eden will never roll out a technology solution unless it can be configured to their company standards, integrated into their ecosystem, and rolled out enterprise-wide. Here is someone who understood the value of data and invested in standardizing it and make sure it's accessible and rolled out across the projects. Now, project teams are capturing more and more critical data every single day. However, almost 96% of all that data goes unused. This is a missed opportunity, not just to use it for day-to-day you know, tracking your project performance and improvements, but also taking lessons learned and improving your future projects. And that's exactly what Barton Mallow, a, a top 100 ENR contractor, set out to do. Barton Mallow had a five-year goal of doubling their efficiencies across the board by 2024. And in order to do that, they invested in technologies and processes to automatically synthesize the data and gain insights from this data which were not available before. As you can imagine, they were able to get these insights and uh, understand what went wrong and make changes, make improvements so that you don't miss, make those same mistakes in the future projects. Just to give you one example, root cause analysis is a very common um, analysis pattern. You want to understand what went wrong. And but Milo is looking at RFI information, request for information data. Even though every single system out there is able to track root cause data, almost 95% of all that data was left blank. And this is why it's important to make sure you have a data strategy. You want to standardize your data capture and make sure those critical information is captured out on the job site. Well, it's not the end of the day if you did not capture that data in the first place. This is where technologies like AI and machine learning can help you. Machine learning can automatically synthesize this data and add structure to it for you and your project teams. Think about 10 years of worth of data that you might have digitized and without any structure. And this is where technologies like machine learning you can go in, analyze it, and understand what is the root cause. What are some of the other attributes? And add that 
and add that layer of information to your data so you can get insights from it. As the VP of Business Transformation mentioned, Martin Mello is a data company who happens to build. And they're well on their way to attain their goals, the five-year goals that I talked about. To wrap up, I want to connect back to Laurie and the problems she's facing. She needs help from her project teams to make her life easier on the job site and also get better insights from the data. What can she take from these stories? First of all, if you're still capturing the data on paper, start digitizing it. And as Apti mentioned, have a data strategy in place. Start with the end in mind. And make sure you are capturing the data for the future. As Jay Eden showed us, you need to connect the dots. Make sure you're connecting the different workflows and providing the full context, the full picture for your project teams. This is critical to make faster, better decisions. And finally, how do you solve the problem of too much data? And this is where machine learning can sift through hundreds and thousands of data points automatically for you and provide insights that are not available before. As Bart Mallow showed us, this helps project teams to understand what went wrong and use those improvements, lessons learned for future projects. Technology is rapidly changing, and we are here to navigate through that uh, landscape together with you. Instead of invest focusing only on technology, what I would recommend is invest in building your teams. These are the teams who are able to help you build the right processes, tools, standardize, and get insights from your data that will help you create competitive advantage in the future. Thank you.